Tasmania's Premier Peter Gutwin will leave his office here for the last time later this week. His departure leaves plenty of work unfinished. High on the list is an Aboriginal treaty and truth-telling process. The outgoing Premier had stated how important that work was to him. The one thing that I am determined to do is I want to find a pathway to true reconciliation. I believe that that uh, will benefit all Tasmanians. Mr Gutwin announced last month that his government would establish an Aboriginal advisory body and allocate up to $500,000 in the next budget to support the work. Most of the hard work's been done, so um, you know, we'll be putting pressure on the next Premier to ensure that this great work continues. Also of high importance is Tasmania's Commission of Inquiry into state government responses into child sexual abuse in institutional settings. The Commission held its opening hearings in October and will recommence hearings in Hobart and Launceston in May. I think the next Premier needs to come out and really uh, be quite clear that they're going to encourage members of the state service to, to step forward, give evidence at the Commission without the fear of uh, any, any consequences to their job down the track. The Ashley Youth Detention Centre in Deloraine, a key focus of the inquiry, is set to close and be replaced by two smaller facilities in the next three years. <laughs> a former footballer, Peter Gutwin was passionate about securing a Tasmanian AFL team. That grand plan includes transforming this site at Hobart Cenotaph into a $750 million stadium. It would jut out over the River Derwent and have a 27,000 seating capacity. The Premier doesn't have to be a footy supporter, um, but he certainly you would expect a Premier to be an economic supporter. Just some of the tasks on a long to-do list for the next Premier. Selena Ross, ABC News.